5 grams of hydrated salt of barium when heated to a constant weight gives 4.2 grams of anhydrous salt with a molecular weight of what? 208. The number of molecules of what? Water of crystallization in the hydrated salt is there are two ways to solve this. The first one is the one I just look at the formula for the first one. The second one is the one we can use more ratio to solve. Now, using this formula, we have the mass of hydrated salt, the mass of anhydrous salt, then the, the molar mass of the hydrated divided by the word, the mass of the word, the anhydrous um, salt, and that is it. Now, the hydrated is the one, the one that contains the word, the water. So you just want the mass of the hydrated from here is just what? Five. Divided by what? They say you heat to a constant, gives this of anhydrous source. So you have divided by the, the, the mass of the anhydrous is 4.26. is equal to. Now, the, the molar mass of the hydrated is only been given. The molar mass of the hydrated is what? 208. Right? But remember, the hydrated contains water of crystallization in it. So this will be what? 208 plus what? 18S. 18S is cut in by what? The water of crystallization. So this is what? 2 plus what? 16. Which will give you what? 18. But the percentage of water of crystallization, we don't know yet. This is what we want to find. So you divide everything by what? The molar mass of the anhydrous salt. So, the anhydrous does not contain water of crystallization. So, it's just divided by what? 208. And that is the end. So, all we need to find is what? Find the X. If you find S and everything is what? Flowing naturally. The, the next, first thing you're going to do is what? Just cross multiply. This will now be what? 5 times what? 208. Right? Is it not? 5 and 208 is equal to what? 4.26 times what? 4.26 divided by. 208 plus what? 18 S. Right? So the next thing I'm going to do is this will come to this, right? So you have 5 times 208 divided by what? 4.126. So it's equal to what? 208 plus what? 18 what? X. Right? So 5 times 208, 5 times 208 will give you 1 this like this, 1040. Right? So divided by 4.26. You divide it, so you're going to get um, what you get is divided by 4.26. So you have 208 plus 1, 18x. Right? So once you divide this, you should get 244.13 is equal to 208 plus 1, 18x. So this will come to this side. So, minus 208, what you're going to get is what? 36.18. 36.13, is so. So, 36.13 divided by what? 18. We divide it by 18. What you're going to get is 2. What you're going to get is what? 2.007. So, approximately is what? 2. So, the percentage water of crystallization will give you what? Just two. Are you with me? Good. Now, remember, all you need to know is this formula. Once you know this formula, you can just apply it and find your S, and answer is what will just flow it naturally. There is another way to also do this using more to more word ratio, and that is what I will, I'm, I'm going to word tell you right now immediately. So, so. So the another way you can still do this thing is what? Solve it by more to more ratio. So this is a salt, this is what? Our water. And the salt, the, the anhydrous salt, already you have the what? A mass of gram of what? 4.26. And then all you need to do is what? Divide it by what? The molar mass. Because we need to get mole. Mole is, mole is what? Mass all over what? Molar mass. So you have the mass, and the molar mass is what? 208. And for you to get the mass, the, the mass of water is what? What you're going to do is what? 5, 5 minus what? 4.26. You're going to get what? 0 
you divide it by what? 18. Are you with me? So when you divide this by this, what you're going to get is what? 4.26 divided by 208. What you're going to get is 0 0.02. So you get 0 0.02 here. And when you divide this 0 0.78 divided by 18, you're going to get what? 0 0.014. Right? So, and in more ratio, you're going to divide by the number that contains the least, um, the least value. So the least here is, you divide by 0 0.02, you divide by 0 0.012. So this will give you 1, and here will give you what? 2. So the percentage water of fertilization that we need is what? 2. And just like we have shown before. So the answer is still what? 2. Chance here. Now, um, 5.2.5 gram of um, hydrated salt half on heating gives what? 2.3 grams of what? The anhydrous what? salt. Given that the relative molecular mass of the anhydrous salt is what? 208. Calculate the, the, the number of molecules of what? Water of what? Crystallization. And we already have a very simple formula for it. We have the mass of the world, dehydrated, and we have the mass of the world, anhydrous, is equal to what? The molar mass of the world, hydrated and what? The molar mass of the world, the anhydrous. I've already written it at the first example, so let's go to it. So, mass of the hydrated is what? 2.5. Divided by mass of the world and hydros, which is what? 2.13. And the molar mass is what? 208 plus what? Our 18s divided by what? 208. Right? So the next thing we need to find is what? For you to get our s. So all we have to do is what? Cross multiply. So you have 2.5 so times 208, right? Divided by what? 2.13. Is equal to what? 208 plus what? 18x. So if you divide this, so this is what? 2.5 times 208 divided by 2.13. What you're going to have is 244.13 minus 208. So if you minus 208, what you will get is what? 36.13. Divided by what? 18. So our S is equal to what? Divided by 18, you will get the same 2.007. So approximately you have what? 2. Right? Remember, we still have another formula, another way of doing it using what? More ratio. So more ratio is what? This is our barrel salt and this is what? Our water. Right? And this one is the anhydrous. So it's what? 2.1 13. While this one is what? The difference between 2.5 minus 2.13. So 2.5 minus 2.13, it will give you what? 0 0.137. And remember that our mole is mass all over what? Molar mass. Our mole is mass all over molar mass. So molar mass of this is what? 208. And here is what? 18. So, if you divide this by 18, you have 0 0.1, 0 0.02, right? You divide this 2.13 divided by 208, what you get is what? 0 0.01. So, you divide it by the one that has the least number, divide it by the one that has the least number, so here is 1 and here is what? 2. So, you can see that there are different ways of solving this. Instead of you use the formula or use more to more ratio conversion to get the word, the same answer. Thank you very much for this video. We'll meet in another video.